Hey guys, now as you know, gonna cut straight to business. Today I am reviewing the Secret Lab Titan cookies and cream. Before I can do any of that, I've got to unbox it and I've got to build it so we can change this chair into a Secret Lab one. And there we have it. But let's actually watch how we unbox it, right? So realistically, there's a couple of, I'm gonna split this video in two. One, I'm gonna talk about secret lab chairs as a whole, and then I'll talk about this specific one, the cookies and cream soft weave Titan, okay? That way you get the idea for general uh, secret lab chairs and then this specific one. These guys are marketing heavily right now, heavily on, social media pretty much everywhere if you've liked or watched a video anything to do with gaming you've probably seen an advert from these guys and they build themselves as the best gaming chair there is out there with the best materials and stuff like that the endorsements they've got are insane and does it live up to that i can say I, i've never used a, another professional chair like another pro gaming chair or anything like that. You saw the, the black chair that I've been using before. Anything other than that has been even worse. So I'm, I'm comparing this to an entry level, like 60 pound chair. So it's worth bearing that in mind. I can't speak to how different this is to another pro gaming chair or anything like that. However, all I can say is literally the first time I sat in this, it was like, it illustrated all the things that my other chair was doing wrong. I wouldn't have said before this that my other chair really had anything wrong. You know, I'm, I'm one of those, I just, as you can probably tell by the stuff that surrounded me, I like new things, I like nice things, and I want the top of the range if I can achieve that. It does everything that that other one didn't. Now, specifics, it comes with the headrest. That for me is a big deal because I, I tend to be quite hunched being a big guy. I, I hunch quite a lot. Having that headrest there, helps me stay in a more stable position, but the headrest is key because of how the rest of the seat fits around you. So the way it kind of hugs round and the, the fully adjustable recline that you can have just means that you're in that natural position. You can get it to that position that just feels right. For me, that involves a headrest. It also involves a pillow. I'll get to that later. But if you haven't seen this channel before, I'm a professional athlete, bobsledder, all of that. So for me, feeling physically good and not getting tight or my hips hurting or, or especially my lower back starting to ache is huge. And I've not had a single issue with this. I did a five hour stint in this chair last Saturday and didn't have a single issue. Now I know for a fact, if I was in my old black chair, which is sat over there. Sorry chair, I'm naming and shaming you. But if I was sat in that for five hours, I know I'm gonna have to stretch out and stuff like that afterwards. And I don't have that in this chair. And that alone is huge. Anyone that does gaming or editing or anything that's sat in front of the computer for hours, you know the struggles that that can cause. Upper back, lower back, shoulders, all of that. Being hunched over. This puts your body in that neutral position so that you can work, game, play efficiently without getting those aches and pains and that's that's massive but there's other parts to it there's there's the fact that it's fully adjustable that means that you can get it in that position that works for you you've got different levers all sorts you can adjust the height the recline the fact how far back and forward the armrests are all of this. One thing it doesn't have though, and, and this, you know, this is my first fault with it, is that I wish there was the option to kind of freely recline. I could do that on my old chair. For example, I like to 
put my feet up on the side when I'm just kind of taking a break, stepping back and watching what I've made or what I'm making or anything like that. And I, and I can't do that in this. For me to be able to recline back, you have to fully adjust the position of the chair and that's less than ideal. I, I wish it had that function because it seems, and I'm no chair designer, it seems like that would be fairly easy to add. That's my first like downside to this chair. So just bear that in mind that you can't recline back in the chair, which is, which is a real shame. Now the other key feature that Secret Lab sell their products on is kind of the durability and the, the, the quality of the materials involved. Now I'll get to the soft weave later, but like another difference that I felt on my old chair, the arms every six weeks or so, I'd have to tighten up the bolts again to stop them from wobbling because the arms will wobble. You know, if I'm sitting like this, they kind of take some strain. Um, one of the wheels is wonky. I've only had it about 18 months all of this now i have only had this chair for two and a half weeks at this point but it is evident that that is not going to be an issue with this chair the build quality as i was constructing it and having sat in it is insane you know when you can just feel when something is is good like good quality this absolutely has that once it's built and out and kind of in front of you it's hard to put into like words what that is like but I'm sure you've experienced it where something just feels good and feels sturdy and stuff and this absolutely has that right so let's talk about the cookies and cream soft weave in general I went for the material option as opposed to the leather I don't like leather in general if I have bare skin I don't really like that kind of sticking to it anyway that's besides the point now the soft weave my biggest fear with this would be how easily will it wear and like will it stain or anything like that now thankfully i've not had to like see if it's see if it stains easily and i hope to keep it that way i'm certainly not going to be doing any tests or trying to stain it but again it's not like sofa fabric which is hard to tell on the site you don't know if it's like what the feel is like but the, the closest thing that i can say is like it, it's like a tightly woven clothing as opposed to something like a, a regular um, sofa seat or anything like that. As for the color scheme, you, you if you know Secret Lab, you know they have a bunch of different colors and that. I personally like the gray neutral. I mean, look, look what I'm wearing. It's a, it's a black camo onesie. So I like the kind of the black and the gray and that really works for me. I think the color scheme on pretty much all of their designs, especially as I record this, they've just released the Game of Thrones ones. Yeah, I really like the Game of Thrones ones, even though they're leather, but like you can tell that a lot of attention to detail has gone into making sure it looks right, not overdoing it. You know, you've got the black and the blue combo. You've got, you can get some pink in there. Um, there's like blue and gray and, and all of those, you can tell that there's care taken into how it looks. And, and trust me, when you, when it's in person, that shows it just sits right pardon the pun and that's a big thing I think with any kind of design if you can tell that this thing's really been thought about and engineered properly it shows and it feels the other aspect of this specific chair is it that it's the Titan series again I hadn't really given much thought to like my size when buying previous chairs I am six foot five 195 centimeters I'm currently 110 kilos which is 240 pounds and I realized that like at that size I break stuff when I sit in it um, I've broken park benches I've broken fold-out chairs and heck I've even broken that black old black chair that I had by leaning on the arms too much so it's good to know that that's been taken into account with this chair when you go through their buying software on the website it will ask you your height and weight so that you know that you're accommodated for because I would hate to have spent the money on this chair to then for it to arrive and be too small or too slim or, or not fit me right or you know use it for a year and then it collapsed because it wasn't you know built for my weight so that's that's great for me and it's great that that's a, that's a, even a thing you know that this company has said okay we we have different people sitting in these chairs we're going to make different specs for different size people it's hard to overstate how clear it is 
that this company thinks about the consumer, thinks about the product, thinks about how people are going to use it and accommodates that. And that's really good. I really like that. You know, attention to detail in any kind of product is, is key. Okay, so as we're kind of wrapping this up, because I don't want to take it too long, look, end of the day, I love this chair. And it's hard to do a review when there's very little bad to say about it. As, as much as I'm, you know, sure that Secret Lab will, will love that it, I think it's great, I, I want to convey that this is honest. I really do like this chair, and, I, and it's very hard to fault it. The only only problem that I found at the moment is that it doesn't have that like recline option. I wish it did. That's the only fault I can possibly find with it. Now that should speak to the quality I think that I am trying. I am trying to find something that I don't like about this chair and I can't. Now the big question that I know a lot of people have with Secret Lab is the price. Is is it worth what it costs? Now, I think that's a totally different issue and I'm actually gonna do that in another video. So click the link at the end or in, down in the description if you wanna see my take on whether it's worth the cost. But a standalone, in a vacuum, as sports people would say, does this seat do what, it's, what the adverts say and actually deliver on being one of the best seats in the world? I haven't tried all of the seats in the world. I can't say with absolute confidence, but what I can say is this is the best seat that I have ever sat in office-wise, and possibly ever. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it on that. I resoundingly like this product, and I think if you can, and if you're on the fence, and you're thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I? I'd say go for it. But there's also the matter of price. So hang about if you want to. If, if this is enough, crack on. But um, regardless, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. Bye, guys.